Hello, I'm at Brule and Kerr's factory in Denmark where a complete system for mechanical satellite qualification and acceptance testing has been set up. A satellite manufacturer needs to be sure that their hardware will survive the gruelling launch into space by doing extensive terrestrial tests. Testing is typically done by renting time at a specialist facility where multi-channel instrumentation such as this is installed. The instrumentation hosts a complete suite of applications to test for modes of resonance using random and swept sign excitation. It also tests for acoustic fatigue, short transients from pyroshocks and long transients when solar panels are deployed. So test house engineers can be sure to get everything in the can first time as repeating a test due to lost data is not possible. In a functioning facility these instrument racks containing 320 active analogue channels would be stationed next to the satellite under test in the test chamber. In this installation the data acquisition system is moved together with the satellite for the different tests. This means that measurement accelerometers that have been meticulously and temporarily mounted on the satellite do not have to be removed when changing from one test bed to another. This gives two distinct advantages. Considerable setting up time is saved between individual tests and only very short analog cabling from satellite to data acquisition system is needed. Short cabling increases the quality of the measured signals and decreases the risk of cable integrity failure. Important in a system with 320 channels to keep track of. To help the instrumentation engineers in the test bay keep track of all these channels, the racks are linked to this flat panel display and are able to show the real-time status of each channel. The measurement data is converted to a digital signal on the shop floor and piped around the facility using standard LAN technology. This allows different users to access the same data stream and use it as required by their job functions. In the post-processing area, data reduction is performed to get the final result. In the shaker control room, the data stream is monitored to ensure that vibration levels generated during the tests are within the safety limits for not destroying the structure. In the data viewing and reporting area, the clients who hired the facility look at their data in real time for instant assessment and 10 minutes after a test run is complete, look at the final results, even in a hard copy from this printer. The complete test workflow is organised from this console. Here the engineers are able to pre-plan the test, set up the data acquisition hardware, set up the required analyses, calibrate the accelerometers, monitor the recording, initiate post-processing, visualise the results, create reports and finally archive the data. The analogue to digital system is 320 channels, each at 50 kHz bandwidth, using commercial off-the-shelf modules based on LANXI technology, running with a 131 kHz sampling frequency. To record the 24-bit data streaming in from the 320 channels requires a RAID array configured to 6 terabytes under the control of a high-end workstation PC with 6 processor cores running at 3.5 GHz as well as recording to disk, there are simultaneous real-time level, FFT, CPB or time signal monitoring on all channels. The wrapper software fully integrates Pulse Lab Shop Recorder, Pulse FFT and CPB analyses, Pulse Reflex Shock Response, Pulse Reflex Sign Reduction, Pulse Reflex Viewer and Pulse Data Manager. What we've seen here is a complete system for mechanical satellite qualification and acceptance testing using up-to-date technology to offer satellite test facilities a flexible solution to their testing challenges. Flexibility comes from short cable runs and mobile racks in the test chamber, allowing quick turnaround between tests and many users all sharing the same data stream on a standard LAN infrastructure. With cutting-edge PCs running optimised software, the multi-screen environment enhances the real-time overview the engineers have of the running systems. Ultimately, this gives more efficient test procedures 
state-of-the-art data quality and a reduction in the resources needed to put a satellite into orbit.